Take four. Hi, this is the Mean Girls Knit Podcast. I'm Rebecca. I'm Stephanie. And we are a knitting podcast. We're sisters. Um, we live in the Pacific Northwest. We have a bunch of kids and a dog. Except we don't, that made it sound like we live together. We don't. Um, I live in about an hour north and she lives an hour south. And she's got a dog. I don't. And I have a bunch of kids and she doesn't. She's got two. And I have a bunch. And uh, yeah, so that was awful. But it's take like six and I'm just going to go with it. We're doing it. We're doing it live. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Rebecca, Stephanie, our contact information is down in the down bar. Um, hey, it's Rebecca pretty much everywhere. Hey, it's Stephanie or variations thereof. Ravelry, Instagram. Instagram is the best way to get a hold of us. Um, if you have sent us a message on YouTube, uh, basic stitch knitting, I know you did recently. I don't know how to reply to that. I was trying to figure it out. I don't know how YouTube messaging works. I'm sorry. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I get them in my email and then I don't know how to reply. Did you know that was a thing? You could message people I, I on YouTube. I didn't even know that was a yeah. thing. Like, I don't know how to do that. So Instagram keeps it really simple for me. Message me on Ravelry if you need to. Um, Those are I'll, I'll the get two best ways to contact us. Two best ways to contact us. Anyway, if you want to I indulge in the crazy. There you go. Okay, um, that's us. We're knitting podcast. Sometimes we talk about spinning, not today. Um, the spinning's not we're going mm. as well as I hoped. Primarily um, knitting. I mean, there's a few extra little different crafty things thrown in there, but not really. Not really. It's 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 knitting. Knitting is what we do. It is what we do. Knitting and talking crap about people behind their backs. Not on our podcast. <laughs> no, that is not put out there. <laughs> It sounds um, terrible. It does sound terrible, but you know, like you, I, everybody has a relative they talk about. Yes. We talk about our relatives. Yes. A lot. So, you know what, though? It's not like we, we talk about secrets that people have. Like no, if, it's if all my, public. Right, if my mom called me up and said, oh my gosh, this horrible thing happened, don't tell anybody, I wouldn't call Stephanie up and be like, guess what happened to mom? But if mom posts on Facebook, the most embarrassing thing in the world happened to me, I'm calling Stephanie and I'm going to be like, hey, did you see what mom just posted on Facebook? Can you believe she said that? Can you yeah. believe she told everybody? Like, so it's, yeah, we're not awful. No, but. So, but that's just our other hobby besides knitting. Like, you know how the grocery girls have the grocery store? We're just, we like gossiping. We gossip about... But the grocery girls don't, they don't, like, go podcast from the grocery store. It really doesn't have anything to do with the podcast. It's just a, another aspect of who they are. So that's kind of how we are with our name. I feel like we have to justify our name every time because I do get a lot of comments, Harry, to me directly about like why, or I hear secondhand like, you know. Well, you guys aren't mean. Why are you the mean girls? Yeah. Because we like to gossip about other members of our family. Mm -hmm. That's really what it that, is. That's all like, it is. We joke all the time about like we'll go to a wedding and we'll be the girls at the table going, oh my God, so-and-so said they were going to be here and look at them now. Like, blah, blah, blah. Can you believe that lady over there that we hate that's eating crackers? Yes. Look at her oh, eating God. crackers like she owns the place. That is us. That's us. So and that's now, really and now every wedding we've ever been to, people are watching this going, I wonder what they said at my wedding. A lot, trust me. <laughs> we said a lot. <laughs> and it was all hilarious. I will say it to your face, too, just for the I record. Will say it to your like, face we, too. we, we, we. And people are free to talk about us if they want to. I'm, I'm sure they do. I am, I am we have a huge family. It, pro there's... gossip. No, I mean like even people in the knitting community. Oh, I'm sure they I don't they know. Do. You're watching this and you want to talk crap about us? Go check these girls out. They're dumb. I mean, great. I'm pro gossip. You do you. Yes. Just don't be hateful. Anyway. Okay. So we have a huge episode packed and we're already four minutes in and we haven't got to any of it. So we have giveaways and giveaways and giveaways. We have a couple party in our mailbox. Kind of to steal from the grocery girls again. And um, we have some, I have a finished object, which I have not had one the last three episodes. So I'm Yay! pretty excited that I have. And, and I wove in the ends. What? I did. Oh my God. You not, guys. I did not block, but I did weave in the ends. Don't expect it to ever happen again. So I'm pretty excited. I have some almost finished objects. I have some half finished objects. I have some. No, I don't. I have some um, barely, fin barely started objects. You have two finished objects. No, I have, no, this isn't finished. Oh, so, anyway, sorry. I only have one. Do you have any finished objects? I have one. Hey, good job. Yay. Yay. That's so great. Okay, so, first finished object. Hat. See? I hope you weren't expecting something huge because it didn't happen. Oh, but I knit this hat. in a few hours. And this is Reflections of the Sun by, oh, I didn't cut the ends, but I did weave them in. Um, Leah both, and it's her very first pattern. And it's a hat. It's DK weight, but it's held double, which I did not expect. 
when I started it. I just saw DK weight and then, but it's DK weight held doubled and it's really simple. A total beginner. If you have knit a simple hat stock and a hat before, you could knit this hat. You know, it's very simple. There's some eyelet rows and it's actually really cute. And there you go. It's super cute. I did add a little bit of length after the top one. Uh, actually purely on accident, but it worked out really well. And I love the colors. I got this yarn from Dog Dare in a giveaway that he had. David Dog Dare, who has a podcast, which is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. Anyway, so this is super cute. I love the colors kind of remind me of fall. They didn't I so much it. in the skein, but as I was knitting it, I love I it definitely. It and I love it like held double. I love it held double because there's a lot of depth of color. Um, it reminded me a lot of fall as I was knitting. In the skein, it didn't remind me of fall at all. But I think it's the perfect hat yarn. I think it's absolutely fabulous. Anyway, this pattern is on sale on Ravelry. Uh, Five dollars. But all of the money until September 16th, I think, is going to a help a family who's doing a, a kidney transplant. The dad is flying out and there's expenses related to that to go donate a kidney to his daughter which is super cool and she's donating 100% of the money that you spend on, on the pattern, pattern to going help to them so it's a really great cause go check it out and we're actually also giving away a pattern so if you want to knit this hat which you should which you and should I'll be casting mine on this week so, so. It's super great um, there will be a thread in our Ravelry group where you can go and answer a prompt and do a thing. And I also want to say for the giveaways, we have quite a few followers, subscribers, whatever. And sometimes when I'm watching podcasts that have a lot of subscribers, whether it's 500 or, you know, 6,000, they say, oh, go to our Ravelry group. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that because, you know, like there's so many entries, like 30 pages of entries. I'm like, I'm never going to win. I'm not even going to bother. We have really low entries on our giveaways. I don't know if people know that or not, but we do. Yeah, Some your of chances them. of winning are pretty good. And sometimes, like, we'll just sometimes randomly, we... not the, what was giveaway? We did a giveaway for a... We did a giveaway for something, and we drew two winners. We drew two we winners, because I was like, I love, I love the pattern, so okay. I'm, we're going to do two. We each bought one. So, um, you never know. We'll sometimes, never know. we'll just... So, honestly, if there's 20 entries, and we're giving away patterns, and we draw two, that's a 10% chance. Um, but now that I said that, everybody's going to go in her, and it's not going to be that way anymore. But... In case you're thinking about it for any of our giveaways, we actually get really low amounts. So go to our Ravelry group. You can't knit with us. And um, enter. Yeah, and we got a few giveaways today, guys. We so got a few. We got three. Your odds, we got three. So, so your odds are pretty... So on, just go in. Stay tuned. So go in. There'll be a prompt, and it'll, it'll be clearly easy. labeled Yep. for which and, one they are. Yep, and we'll give you a week. So, yeah, cool. Okay, so that's my right. first finished object. Took me a few hours. DK held doubled on size seven and nines. It's so super cute. fast, super cute, and I'm actually really excited because I like wearing hats and I never knit them. But I, I love should knitting hats because they're super fast. I know I love hats. I didn't even use magic loop. I did double points. The whole thing. Yeah. Is that true? Around, uh, that's a lie. I did magic loop. I would say I do sixteen inch. Search. I love double points. Sixteen so. inch search until I can double point. Hey, you have a finished object. We're at eight thirty nine. I do. I have a finished object. <gasps> Did you weave in the ends? No, Not a finished object. It's like you don't even know me. Well, because a finished object has ends woven in. Oh, well then it's not a finished object. What is this? A it's work a, in progress It's though? a, the knitted, knitted, knitting is completed object. The knitting is completed object. Hey, good for you. So, I finished <gasps> I the it. couch. My couch. It butter. doesn't look like a couch. I know, it's my couch. The lighting though. is great. This is actually this, the colors. I know, this is like. This is cool. So, this is cool. I love this. This is knit out of... Objectively. Dog Star Yarns in the Stephanie's Couch colorway. Love it. And it is the So Faded pattern by Andrea Mowry. But I did not fade and I didn't do This yarn the top. is so The guard shoulders. I love it. For a 75-25, this is pretty soft. I would totally wear this. It seems like it'd be so cozy. It is. You just keep talking about okay. your sweater. So... It, um, it took just barely over two skeins. Like, seriously, I had, like, this much left yeah, to do on the, have done that. No, I... on the bottom ribbing. It it's... looks great. It's very cropped. <laughs> There's more. On the bottom ribbing. And, uh, so I had to break into my third skein for this much of the Modeling ribbing. it for you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. 
Um, it's really cozy. I would totally wear this. I love it. And I love the shorter sleeves. So I did the cropped, the elbow length sleeves, but I did a longer body. That's great. And I love that, uh, you can't get your, get your arm over there. See how it's striped? Both sleeves yes. did that. That's so cool. I know. That's, I love it. I love it. I super, I love it. Super That's love it. cool. That's I nice. Know. I love it. That is really, have you, no, you haven't worn that. I haven't worn it and I haven't blocked it. Are you wearing this to Rhinebeck? I am wearing it to Rhinebeck. And here's where I was last time I podcast it. Hey, good for you. So right there, Becky's belly button. Well, a little yeah, bit higher than you did, button. You did Sorry. great. Good job. Thank you. It looks awesome. Yes. So there it is. I finally finished my couch sweater. Hey, and yeah. I love it. Like I'm seriously you love it. thinking about knitting another one. Another couch sweater? No, well. Or another so faded. Another so faded. It's a cute pattern. I like the how it comes down a little lower. Yeah, I love how okay. it comes down lower and I like that the sleeves are just right here. Yeah. And it's made out of fingering, so it's just a lightweight. I love it. But there you go. I love it. It's finally done. And this is my Ryan Beck sweater. Well, one of them. Yeah, because two days, two sweaters, two right? Yeah, so, I mean, that's not bad. But yeah, so, I don't know. That's I still awesome. have, like, practically a full skein left. That's awesome. Do a hat, sock head. I know. Leg warmers. Well, he did gloves. say what one of the labels said caution, like something about leg warmers. Yeah, so warmers. you have to. So I have to. I have to like knit up some leg warmers for Ryan Beck. That'd be awesome. With some leggings, yes. <laughs> Nobody will be seen with me. Nobody's going to be seen with us anyway. I know. I love it. So yay, it's finished guys. And I love it. The pattern was super easy to read. Um, uh, super easy to do. Size five? It is. It's size five needles and then size threes. It's gorgeous. For the you should be really and proud of that. It um, and it took pretty much what it the uh, actually it took this took you forever. Took me forever. No, what I was thinking about the yardage, like because oh, I made two and a half, the cropped two version, point one skeins. but it but that's how much it said for the cropped version, and I extended yeah. the body out, so it actually like if you're doing a cropped version, you could get away with just two skeins of yarn. And that size, the 36. In the 36, yeah. Sorry. Should have said that. Okay. So, you're fine. There you go. So, yeah. What else do you have? What's your other finished object? That's my one finished object. You said you had two. I have one finished Ro object. Reroll. Roll it back. She said two. I said I have one. So two. I thought you had two. I don't remember. Said, no. People are actually going to go back and be like, why are you wrong? If you're wrong, she tell, tell you're her that she's wrong. wrong. I might be wrong. It's okay. She is wrong. But anyways, yay. Rhinebeck sweater number one complete. I have an almost finished object. It's That's more finished than mine. Okay, so I'm knitting a Rhinebeck sweater. And you might remember the yarn from last time where I said, look at my yarn. I'm knitting hence. Not knitting hence. Didn't happen. I messed up and I was it was it was bad. So I knit. This pattern is called a sweater that is called ding, ding, ding. uh it is called Hohi Locatelli. Hohi Locatelli it's the Puntia oh there you go oh, sorry guys gosh I should have written it down I never forget anyway okay so here's my Puntia sweater um it's knit out of the colorway the black watch the dog star knits in fingering weight I love the blues and greens I hate green but I love the sweater the only weird thing about the sweater and it's not Jake's fault <laughs> it's true like this bugs me <laughs> Okay, he didn't know what I was going to make out of it, and there's no way he could have predicted this, but it has, like, the outline of a of a boob and a nipple in the... Well, okay, I'll put it on, and you guys can see yeah, okay. how Let's this see. looks, Let's because look. I'm like, I feel like everybody's going to be looking at my boob and being Everybody like, what? Gonna, why does she have one to. boob? Everybody's going to be looking at all the mistakes I point out on all of my Rhinebeck stuff. Stuff. Uh, split ring markers, five dollars on Amazon. Best investment I ever made. I cannot believe I have been knitting this long without them. Seriously, get some. I seriously am going to get some and then give them away to somebody because they deserve to have this. Is it not backwards? No. I feel like there's a. You can't see it. I can't see it on the thing. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up looking at Thank it. You, everybody. Anyway. I don't, I don't see, are you talking about like right here? Is it this one? It is right here. The cow kind of, no, the dark blue? I think it's right here. I think it goes down and then there's like a splotch. So, oh, well, there you go. So I feel like it's a little obscene. But this is the Pantia sweater by Hohi Lo, Ho Locatelli. Top down. Oh, it's drop sleeve. 
My brush drop sleeve pattern. There's a lot of material right here. Oh, in the pit? In the, um, like, right behind my armpit. So it's a little weird. The fit is a little bizarre. Um, anyway, it's okay. Super so cute. I'll take this out. I did this black watch color, and I went to the yarn store. Am I bugging you? Am I no, I'm, you? No, I'm, I'm trying, trying to give making you a face. No, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm then... I went to the yarn store with this yarn and the skein still, and I was like, what color am I going to put with this for the lace? And they tried to sell me on some golden brown. I bought it. I wasn't thrilled. And then I asked Lorelai from Handmade by Lorelai Podcast. I was like, what do I put with this? And she is a color genius, by the way. She, she, and she makes said, beautiful stuff. Oh my do gosh. like a rusty brown rust, deep russet color. And I was like, oh, you're so smart. She's like the smartest person I know when it comes to color. She really is. And so I did. I went and bought this Dream in Color um, in a fingering weight. And it's kind of a rusty red. It's My daughter asked me if it was a Christmas sweater. So that kind of made me a little sad. But it is, I don't think it's very Christmas in person. I don't think Cause it's green and so blue. So this isn't done? Are you going to do the sleeves? Is um, that why it's no, not done? No. Usually you're, you're supposed to put the lace on the sleeves too. And I'm not doing that. I don't want to. I just don't want to. I'm tired of looking at this. Um, actually, all I have to do is do the neckline. Oh, okay. I and, I'm, and it calls for a two-by-two two rib for like an inch and a half. I'm just going to do a single crochet. And I got that idea from the Strings and More podcast. When they made boxy sweaters, I think it's Shanna. She did a single crochet all the way around and to keep it more wide open. And I was like, oh, that's so smart. So that's what I'm going to do. By the way, the Strings and More podcast, I love them. They remind me of me and you, except they're... Like more professional. You say nice. <laughs> they're they're nice <laughs> and they're a little bit more professional and but they're funny and go check them out, guys. Go check them out. They're some of my favorites. They're on like episode fifty, and they both dye yarn and one of them makes bags and they make beautiful things that put us to shame. So check them out. Anyway, I'm in love with this. I really love it a lot. I'm excited you to wear. Should. It. It's but super cute. Rhinebeck. Yeah, no, that's gonna be great. We're going to Rhinebeck. It's our Rhinebeck dance. We choreograph that. Took, took so when you see practice. us, be like, hey, do the Rhinebeck dance. We probably will. We might not. That's not a real thing. We didn't actually do that. Anyway, um, and then I just have two works in progress that are barely started. Where is... Hang on, guys. What you for? The, the Little Mermaid bag. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Hang on. Sorry, guys. What do you got? <laughs> back really hard. Okay. I am working on... Well, I'll just keep the theme of sweaters for right now. Yeah, I can. <sighs> Gorgeous. I haven't even seen this yet either. I have not seen this, so I'm super excited. Okay. I haven't seen it since our last podcast. I haven't seen anything. <sighs> I... At... Oh, it's so soft. I'm telling you. Okay. So, uh, like two weeks ago, I went to Cannon Seaside, Oregon, and down in Cannon Beach, which is about 15 minutes from Seaside, is a yarn store. And... Jake and Ray talk about it on their Dog Star Mate cast. It's Which an, you should watch. You should go watch. And it's an amazing store. And they got amazing, beautiful colorways. But they sell Blue Moon Fiber Arts. And so I, I could not go in. I love this. And so I bought Woo Boo, 60% Merino and 40% Bamboo in the Pining for You colorway. You know, I imagine this yarn to be a lot more slippery than it is. Because of the bamboo. It's not slippery at all. It's kind of... It's drapey. Almost, it's almost a rustic feel, but it's too soft to be rustic. That's yeah. kind of fuzzy. I love Look it. how fat that skein is. Yeah, that's amazing. And you only have two, right? I only have two. two. <gasps> so okay. there's, I don't even know. Oh, 620 yards per skein. So this is the Manzanella. Manan. Manzanilla. We've been calling it the Man Eater sweater. Yeah, actually, I created a Ravelry page and I called it the Man Eater. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. <laughs> so here is the picture in black and white because I don't have color ink. Seriously, if you're a podcaster and you can print out yourself color ink, good for you because I can't afford that. You can't tell at all. Okay, so this is knit the same way as Japan's sleeves and Old Romance where you start with the panel. Okay. Yeah, okay, so you start with the panel and you knit two panels, block them out, and then you knit at the back, and then you knit at the front, and then you join in the round. And then your sleeves are done. Then your sleeves are done. Yay! You just gotta seam them together. Three needle bind off, super easy. So, but there's so many things about this pattern that are not. I I thug lifed it. I just went off on my own. So it's supposed to have like every fourth row a. Ooh. What? I don't know. If that was whatever. That's all pretty obvious when you look at it. There's a garter 
A garter ridge. Oh yeah, it's not supposed to be socket It's not supposed to be socket So right. there's these garter stripes, and I was like, I don't, I don't really like garter sweaters. Like I want a nice, soft, smooth, yeah, smooth. feel. Yeah. So I opted to do it all in stockinette, and I looked at the pattern, uh, the project pages, and nobody else had really done that. So I'm like. Well, I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> right, we'll just see if it works. I'll see if it works. And it's working. This is also a sport weight yarn, and it calls for a DK. And you're supposed to knit it on size 6s, and I'm knitting it on size 7s. So, and I, you're looking at the gauge swatch. <laughs> These panels. I knit them up, blocked them to the They look things, fantastic. And they came up right on measurement, but somehow... My stockinette is coming, even though the gauge swatch is in stockinette, it's coming up a little bit smaller. It but still it fits, fits though, yeah, because there's a lot of positive ease in this sweater, so it fits. I'm not worried about it, but yeah, so, um. It's a nice weight. I, I know. Super I comfy. It. It's I'm, super I'm going to have to knit one of these. Do you think I could knit it? Yeah. Okay, maybe I'll make one. It's super easy. Um, there's just short rows. Maybe I'll buy the same yarn, too. Dude, I, I want to buy Can I just live more. your life? Yeah. Knit every sweater you make. I want to buy more. Like, yeah, this I, is nice. Seriously, I this love is it. Super great. But it's, um, but like I said, pattern calls for DK and smaller needles, and I'm using sport and one yeah. size, just one size up. But I had no problem blocking my panels to the dimensions I needed to. So, so there you go. It worked. It works. I tried it on today, and it fits. And this is all one skin. Where's the end of it? I still have this much left. Wow. And I'm still my first skin, and I'm knitting the size 36. Yeah. Ooh, I lied. It doesn't matter. This wasn't done in a 36. What is it? 34? 38. 38. They didn't have 36. It was 34, oh. 38. Oh, well, there you go. So, um... I usually knit mine around 32s. 32, 34. I always knit mine on 36s, but if they don't have 36, I go up because... Yeah. I don't put all that work in a be too tight, and I don't really like tight clothes, so... Yeah. That doesn't really work for me. I'm all about the fitted sweaters. So, but yeah, those, goes up. so anyway, so awesome. this is done in 36. Love it. And it's going to look so good on you. That's such a good color for you. I'm so excited. So this is my second Rhinebeck sweater and this yarn, Blue Moon Fiber Arts, the bamboo and merino. That's amazing. It feels really I nice. I sent Rebecca a message and I was like, I want to knit everything out of this. I love, I love it when you have yarn that you're just like, I want to knit everything out of this. I do. Everything. Everything's going to be sport weight and bamboo merino. That's gorgeous. <laughs> I love the depth of color, too. It's great. Look at quantity for, like, I mean, only two skins. That's amazing. I mean, they're... That is awesome. I love it. I love it. And it smells like wool. It smells like vinegar. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It doesn't smell like vinegar. It smells like vinegar. It doesn't smell like... I've had vinegar yarns. This does not smell like vinegar. It smells like vinegar. It's wool. Okay. I'm knitting... So... My second Rambeck sweater. It's not going so well. This is the Julissa sweater. The Julissa sweater is a lace and cable front and a cable down the side, top down raglan. The way this pattern is written is everything I ever dreamed a sweater pattern could be written as. Diagrams, explained everything, but then the directions are concise. I love it when the directions aren't overly lengthy like when they show line by line all of the raglan increases and like six of the lines are the same it's just too much it's too much information just give it to me and this is like literally all the raglan increases and everything all the cable and lace is all explained what you need to do in like one paragraph and it's great um, i did mess up right there so if you see me at back, go ahead and point that out that's fine i'm gonna try to fix it like See, it's supposed to be a straight line. Mm. I might do something where I try to connect them. But, maybe not. I might just leave it. I'm just, whatever. And then I missed a cable on the sleeve. Guess what? I'm not ripping back. I'm not doing it. It's just, that's how it is. Because I think it was Barbara who was talking about how nobody sees your sleeves at the same time. So they can't compare. I think that was her. I think it was Barbara from Flame and Fiber. Yeah, dude. Like, it, like if you make a mistake on one sleeve... Just go with it because nobody else is going to see this. They're not going to see both standing out. I messed see. up on my... They're not going to um, The sweater. The, my man-eater. I have a little mess up. Yeah. And I was like, 
Nobody's no, going to notice. Don't. I'm not ripping it out. Sleep because I don't it's out care to make enough. Mistakes. I don't care enough. If I don't care enough to rip it out, and if somebody comes up to me and points out and says, hey, that's stalking at, and it's supposed to be like a little garter ridge on your cable, I'm going to be like, get off my arm. Like, you, right? You, like, you, you're too close to me. You're too close to me. So just Like, right in the middle of the cable. Um, so, you're supposed to knit a two and a half inch, or two inch, inch, I don't know. I don't two. know how long it's supposed two. to be. Two, you told me two. Okay. You're supposed to knit a much longer uh, ribbing for the neckline, but I kind of wanted it more open because I like more open necklines. So I only did like a quarter inch because I'm lazy and I'm tired of, I got really tired of the ribbing really fast. It's part of the reason I don't usually make socks because they're like 20 rows of two by two ribbing or one by one ribbing and I just can't. 20? I only do 12. I, I can do, 12 is my limit and then I'm like, I'm done with this. I do. I cannot. Anymore. I tried to do 15 once, but then the next sock I did 12. <laughs> so this is being done in Cascade 220 uh, Superwash Merino. And the colorway, probably something like a number or something. I don't know. Charcoal. Gray. Color number 27. Um, it's a charcoal gray. I super love the color. And the yarn is actually pretty soft. This It's different oh. than... It's yeah, it different is, than it's... Cascade 20 Superwash. It's Superwash Merino. So it's a little softer. And it's got a little bit of a heavier feel to it than the Superwash Merino. Or Superwash that's like more of a DK weight. Yeah, this is this is worsted. It's a worsted is... weight. It's a more of a true worsted. It's a light worsted, but it's a it's worsted. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm doing. It's actually really simple. I'm cabling without a cable needle. Um, there you go. The different color stitches are recommended in the pattern to tell you what's what. Makes it super easy, even though there's a ton of them. It's fantastic. I super it's love gorgeous. It. But I'm just worried it's going to be too small, but I'm only doing it on a 24-inch needle, and I'm at the point where you separate for the sleeves. And I'm like, is this a sweater for ants? Like, what is going on here? I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Well, 24-inch, but, like, I was worried look, about... Does that look big enough to be separating for the sleeve already? Not really, huh? No. See? Did you measure, like, here to, like, here to kind no, of... No, I didn't it? measure anything. I did my gauge swatch. This is my gauge swatch, and I'm coming a little under gauge. But you're supposed to have negative ease anyways. Yeah, That's but I'm knitting a size 32... But it calls for zero to two inches of negative E. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. It'll probably be okay. If not, I guess I'll just not wear a Rhinebeck sweater. There you go. You might see me in a t-shirt. See, mine's on 24 inch too. It looks. I'm not an overachiever, okay? I'm not either. Okay. So that's mine my sweater. Mine is not even like bright. I only have one more work in progress. What do you got? Uh, one more work in progress. Or okay, what do you I have two. I have the socks I'm working on, but I showed them to you guys last time, and to be honest, I've only made an inch, like, okay. progress on the them. The lipstick ones? Yeah, the I'm pink not... ones are cute. Yeah. They're okay. really cute, but you guys have seen them three times. What do you got? But you I'm excited about this one. <gasps> oh, I'm excited. Yeah. I didn't bring my Stephen West stuff. Oh, well, I don't know. So, I am knitting... A big pair of underwear. <laughs> Yay! Good for you, Stephanie. I'm knitting Color Craving. As our... For our cow, getting through. It's funnier as underwear. The Westnitz Bestnitz book. Sorry about all that crinkling. We're doing a knit along. Um, the entire Westnitz Bestnitz Best Knits shawl, uh, volume one. So this is color craving. I started with color craving. See, there's not in color, but you can kind of see how. You it do looks. know that picture was originally in color, right? You don't have to knit it exactly like that. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I thought I had to do white, gray, and darker gray. So. Love. I'm knitting love, those two love, with the love. gray. So the gray, the white is antler and the gray is charcoal. And those are Madeline Tosh, Madeline Tosh Merino Light. Love. And the green is just some yarn I dyed. That's gorgeous. So I have this bright. It's lovely. It's like a speckly green. A yeah. tonal speckly green. Tonal it's awesome. speckly green, yeah. This so, is going to be gorgeous. Yeah. I am so excited about this. It's super soft, uh, too. Yeah. I and is this Madeline Tosh antler? Is that what you said? Yep, antler and charcoal. It kind of looks mm -hmm. undyed. I'm pretty sure it is. Well, I mean, I don't know that, guys. I'm just saying it looks. <laughs> it cut maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It looks it's like an egg white or an egg color. It's cute. I love antler. I lo I, I'm not gonna lie. I love the color. So these are the three for my color craving, and I'm so excited. Like so That's excited. Awesome. It so, looks really good. Have you worked on it recently, or have you? Been working on your Rhinebeck sweater. Okay. I've been working on my Rhinebeck sweater. I got this done though in like a week. I'm doing the Braille, Braille Chevron wrap. That might be my next one. I don't know. But I love it and I love these holes. Well, the Braille Chevron wrap is just Chevron Brioche in a giant rectangle. And um, it's going to take a while, so I've started it now. And I'm just going to keep working on it as I get yarn to 
to add into it. it. Into it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. My next one might be. I don't know. It doesn't matter because think, I'm knitting on this gorgeous one right now, and I love it. I gotta get cracking because guys, it's gonna look so good on you. The Stephen West cow is coming up. The Stephen West cow is coming up, which brings so, us into another giveaway. Yes, but so I love it. There you go. That's that's my other work in progress. Which I mean, honestly, that's a pretty good yeah, chunk. Good. Yeah, it's I great. got a lot of knitting done. Go me, high five. Stephen yes, West. I did high five myself. <laughs> okay, we'll take a moment to let that sink in. <laughs> Okay. Why do people watch me? I don't know. I don't know why people watch us at all. <laughs> so, Stephen West is doing a knit along. Another mystery knit along. Um, it's a fade, if you didn't know. I am not super excited about this because I'm not into fades. I'm happy for people who are into fades. Go you. I've seen some gorgeous ones. It's not my thing. So I'm going to have to make it work somehow. But, I bought this yarn. And I think I'm going to use it for my... Part of my that fade. yarn is so gorgeous. This is from an Etsy shop called Clark and Al, and the colorway is "You Are Smarter Than You Think," and I think it's Winnie the Pooh inspired. Um, and I know that today she posted on Instagram, and this color, that color is it's purple it's in the shop. and black, and there's some pink speckles in it too. And this colorway speaks to my soul. This is everything I could ever want in a colorway. I am excited. It's Clark and Al, and I bought this from her and I didn't, she's the sweetest person in the whole world because she recognized my username and my podcast and so she totally sent surprises which was amazing. She's so thoughtful. She sent us, Stephanie got gifts too. No, she didn't buy crap. <laughs> <laughs> socks. Running, Running socks. socks. And I have a gray pair with neon, and they're the best socks in the whole world. Thank you so much, Jen. Thank you. That's so yeah. sweet of so you. So sweet. Oh, my and gosh. Running. Sports Cause, beans. Because I, I, I'm a runner. I ran 28 minutes today. I'm working on building up to a marathon. 28 minutes, so like three miles today. That makes her help. But she sent us these socks, which is awesome, because I've been using Hanes. I didn't know that there was actually athletic socks. Oh, yeah. You need athletic socks. I didn't know, but they're like cushioned. Jen is oh, the yeah. best. There's no. I put the sticker for mine on yours, Belega. <laughs> but I didn't bring mine because they're dirty, and I didn't want to be like, "Here's my dirty socks, y'all." Thank all. you so much. That was so sports sweet. Sports jelly beans. And I love sports jelly beans. I ate those all the time. But more importantly, them. I have yarn. I'm excited. I am excited. So anyway, but she also wanted to give away a scan of yarn to one of our viewers. So all you have to do is go to the Clark and L website, clarkandl.etsy.com, and look at her yarn and tell us in a Ravelry thread that we will put up what yarn you would pick. And it might not be available by the time we pick a winner, but just, just go check out what she has, and if you'd like to win a free skein that she will send to you. Then go in and go into our group right. and let us know what color yeah. you like. And hers. if you don't want to wait for the giveaway, I will tell you that I paid $20 for this plus free shipping. She shipped right away, and... It was super fast, and she ships from Ohio. I don't know if she does worldwide shipping, but check her out. 20 bucks plus free shipping for a skinny yarn is amazing. And she's such a sweet person. And she's such a sweet person. That was so super thank sweet. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. So, so, yeah, go check her out, guys. I have this Madeline Tosh Clematis. It's a purple and black. Does that work? Can I do this for my fade? Yes. What do you do, like a white? And then I need like a, like a, maybe a black speckle, like, mm -mm. or a purple, lighter purple, what? Because mm -mm. the fade has to go, you have to have a light, medium, dark. Oh, maybe black? Yeah, but then you have a medium. Well, yeah, this is kind of grayish, so I was thinking that if I just did a white with a barely black speckle into this. And yes, this. yes, yes, yes. If you do like a white, like typewriter from hedgehog or something like the white yeah, yeah, yeah. with the black speckle then you can go into that to go into that but that's what i, I remember about. reading it had like a we said black or i could go into like you can't have a black white purple. but i could do black i could do but i could do white purple black yes you could do that that's what i meant okay, well, look at it and figure out what a fade is <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know how to fade i don't know how to fade either. obviously i don't because I've seen some do you know what fade. i have for my fade nothing so I think I might do this for a fade. I think it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, but then you gotta do, what are you gonna do for minis? Ooh, like a hot pink and hot blues. Like, I was thinking about doing like a blue gradient. Blue and purple gradient. That'd be cute. Minis? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so lost on this, guys, because I don't know how to fade. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. Obviously, like, I knit the So Faded sweater 
in one. So. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to fade either. I've never done one. So, but the mystery no longer is starting out. But we're doing it. September 29th and weird. 29th? 28th. 29th. I don't know. But you know what? Stephen West could say it's a mystery banana hammock along and I would do it. I would do it. I'm super, I'd I'm be super like, excited. I would be like, Neil, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting a banana hammock. It's I'm happening. I'm so excited though. Seriously. But until Stephen West does that, it's not happening, Neil. Don't worry. Don't cry. Yeah. Don't cry. He doesn't watch this. People who know him do though. And then they make fun of him about his pug sweaters. It's true. And I think it's hilarious. So if you're watching this and you're the person that goes in and makes fun of Neil, keep doing it because it's funny. What? <laughs> it is. No, I think Neil needs a pug sweater. Okay. I think you need a pug sweater too. Anyways, we got... So we have, we have a couple more things going on. Um, okay. And speaking of giveaways, with our Clark and Al giveaway, we actually have another giveaway. And that is a shawl pattern from Janine McCarty. And it's called the Yexa Shawl. And Flame and Fiber is knitting the shawl. Um, Janine Jenny, has a the Yarn and You Girl podcast, and she's got a couple. I think she's knit two of them. And so we're going to pull it up and show you what it looks like because we haven't got a chance to knit it yet ourselves. No, but I'm so excited to get this cast on, guys. It's oh a my gosh, DK look at weight, that. which is my fave. Uh, DK weight shawl in two colors. There's some stripes. Is there lace going on there? Yeah. Yeah, there's so, eyelets. And stripes and, and stripes and it's a triangle it kind of looks asymmetrical but it's not it's, it's just, just a triangle can't. shawl um so we're gonna have a thread also for that and i would encourage everybody to enter as many of those threads as you want to because if multiple if the same person wins all three that's totally fine yeah yeah, yeah. you can enter enter on all of them and this is all gorgeous and like i said flame and fiber is doing a really pretty blue and green one yeah um, it's gorgeous janine's making uh, made another one um and there's there's quite a few think. podcasters that are yeah so so i sorry everybody like my mind just we will blank, be giving away a pattern we'll be giving it away so go in check it out and guys winter is coming so a dk weight shawl <sighs> last winter all i wanted to knit was dk weight and, and worsted weight shawls yeah they're so cozy and comfy so go in check that out and i'm going to be doing that too as soon as i get through my run back sweaters <laughs> And we got some yarn from Hannah Made It of the Hannah Made It podcast and the Hannah Made It Etsy shop. The label, mine, this is called Vegan Nightmare, um, but my label was eaten by my daughter. Way to go. So thank you, Hannah, for sending a snack for Molly because she loved it. But yeah, this is Vegan Nightmare. It's neon green speckles, and I love it. I love it. Gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to make socks. Are you? Maybe like Halloween mm. socks. It's eighty twenty, so it's super squishy and super soft. And the speckles are amazing. In fact, I messaged Hannah after this, and I was like, "Please tell me how you how you do this, because I want to know. Because I want to be able to dye my own yarn and, and speckle it." And she was like, "Well, it's all on the wrist." And I was like, "Thanks for your help, Hannah. Appreciate that. But you're amazing. You're she's an amazing dyer. She's super sweet. Oh she's so sweet. So this one is called Costumes and Cocktails, and it is." gorgeous it's so you I lo it is these are totally my colors mm. it's got I some know coral and some pink and some navy blue yeah it's like, and beautiful it's and it's super squishy it is. they oh, are yeah, super, that's kinda orangey. so much squish this one's 85 super wash 15 nylon oh it's 85 15 Sorry, not 8020. Becca's just a liar. It's I'm a right. liar. But it's super squishy. So oh thank you gosh. so much, Hannah. That was the sweetest thing ever. She has the most creative colors. And I don't mean that in a bad way. That sounded rude. Like I'm like, oh. no, they're, she puts her colors together in a way that other dyers don't. I know, but look she, at it. I mean, honestly, I'm not make, talking. She, it's gorgeous. And oh it's my gosh, gorgeous. She, but when's the last time you saw people put colors together like that? And it comes out amazing. Her stuff is gorgeous. Her stuff and is she great. has a lot of like, I say she has a lot of brights, but a lot of neons, a, a lot, lot of, of pinks. neons, pinks, and that's totally up my alley because she makes beautiful stuff. I love brights and neons, and she's pretty much the sweetest person on the planet. She's and, amazing. Um, she is always doing a lot of sales, a lot of promotions, a lot of sales. She does a mystery skein of the month, which I've been thinking about getting. Um, so Hannah made it. H Go check her out. H A N A. Hannah made it. Really focused, but. but she hasn't podcasted in a while, which is pretty sad, but I miss her. And then we got, um, oh wait, I have a work in progress. This is so scattered, guys. It is. Oh, well. Speaking of socks. 
This is the gold that I got to go with my green sweater. And it would have looked okay. It would have looked okay, but the it red is fine. Better. But I like the red better. Go Laura. Anyway, like. this is um, Dreamin' Color BFL in the medieval colorway. By the way, that Dreamin' Color, this was Dreamin' Color single ply. It did not have a colorway name. It didn't have one. Yeah, nothing. Not a number, nothing. Um, I think they forgot to label it. Like, put the sticker on or something, because this sticker was on. But it's BFL, so it's kind of thicker, more rustic. And I'm knitting the uh, Rhinebeck is Calling Socks by the Crazy Sock Lady. Because I posted on Instagram, I'm like, I cast on 64 and I did some ribbing, but I don't know what pattern I'm doing yet. And they were like, oh, do this one. They. I can't remember who it was. Somebody suggested it. And then, um, Kay got on there and was like, oh yeah, that will work with the 64 stitches, so you do that. That's good for you. So I did. It's only $3. It's, it's good. It's a good deal. Yeah, and I wish I could remember even what it looked like right now so I could describe it. But it's got a... a there's no cables. There's no cables. It's lace. It's lace. It's got like three um, yeah, rows of It's got of like a texture lace. pattern, like a texture panel. Down the yeah, so it's like a lace, yeah, yeah. texture, lace, texture. But the lace panel is really... Yeah, I haven't. I don't. I haven't bought the panels. I mean, it's just. But that's. It's just the panels. It's and cute. It goes all the way down they're to cute. on top of the foot. They're cute enough. I bought it. It's real. No, they're really cute. <laughs> cute. They're, uh, so yeah, but, yeah. The, but it's only three dollars. It's her first pattern, and I was really excited to support. What? It's not her first pattern. Is it I, not her first pattern? It's not her first well, pattern. Well, go UK. Good for you. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh no, because she did, did her socks. Mm -hmm. No, it's so. like. She's she's designed a few pairs and they're all gorgeous. She's an amazing. That's sock right. Designer. She's like Wyatt and mm -hmm. the name them after her kids. I'm sorry, Kay, but yeah. I do want to support my fellow podcasters who put out designs and you know dye yarn and do whatever they do. So no, they're uh, beautiful. I'm not gonna Ryan, have any friends. Ryan Beck is calling. Ryan Beck is calling. Ryan Beck is calling. Crazy sock lady. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna be making them, and we're all gonna have matching socks at Ryan Beck. That's kind of the goal. And um, she also has a podcast, I want to be too. one of the cool kids. Crazy Sock Lady. Yeah, so go check her out. Super sweet. Okay. And she, oh my gosh, she has gorgeous stuff. And she's knitting the old romance by Hohi Locatelli for her Rhyme Back 3. Yes. I'm like, oh, I'm not even going to go to Rhyme Back. <laughs> I'm not going. I, I wanted to knit that, but I I was like, hmm, I just did a fingering weight sweater, so I didn't. So, there's that. Got a text. Hi, Desiree. She doesn't watch. Okay. And so, then we got some more yarn. Oh my gosh, I feel like we just got... Like, usually we don't have yarn that we people just hand us, but this time we do. Oh my god, how amazing is this, guys? So, I was just thinking I could do maybe the, um, Jessica shawl. Oh, my DK that would be yarn. gorgeous. But is it self-striping or is it variegated? Somebody tell me. Mm, it's, it's Air Valley DK by West, West Yorkshire, Yorkshire Spinners, but it doesn't say self-striping. I don't think it is. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the um, Yeska shawl. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Problem solved. But this was a gift from one of our viewers, one of our viewers Nettie. Nettie. And this is British yarn, and she wanted to send us something from Britain, and we super appreciate it. It's really super sweet. She was like, "Hey, you know, you guys what should if I have enough for try that it. shawl." I'll have to look. Two hundred fifty-two yards each, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. And then she sent me this Rosie's Rosie. Rosie's Fiber Adventures in the autumn colorway, and it's 75% merino and 25% silk. It's so autumn. I it's love got, it. Like, it's so my colors. In it. Like, when's the last time you saw an autumn that had pink in it? I think that's so genius. It's so gorgeous, and I'm so excited to try this yarn out. And it was so sweet of her to send so us sweet. yarn Thank from you so much. the UK. Like, oh my gosh. That was the nicest thing. Seriously, made my day. So sweet. Thank you. And this yarn is like, oh my gosh, so soft. So... Is that kind of all we have, have going on? Mm. Um, uh, yeah, that we did. Got the three giveaways, so go the to our Ravelry group. Back. Project back from the Limitless Crafter. I show this off every single time, but I love it. Yeah, her bags are awesome. Look. Oh, yeah, she sent us these bags. I have a matching one, too. She's her the bags, sweetest. Seriously. Super, the, super and this, sweet. Like, I have my socks in here, and it only takes up like not even half. I love her stuff. Love. I love it. I love the fabrics and stuff that she chooses. Like I just love her. Me, too. I love Me her too. so much. Me too. So. She's got a podcast. Um, she, she's crafty. I remembered it this time. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention. There's a couple things I wanted to mention, I think. But um, I have a... I've started a thread in our Ravelry group already. And it's called Knitting Questions. Have you seen this? Probably not. She doesn't go News to me. Okay. Knitting Questions. If you have a knitting question, if you are knitting a project, 
um, and you need help, there's a thread. Ask us a question. Instagram, message me. Message her. Um, we might not have the correct answer for you. Probably not. We might not. No, I mean, we've, we're, we we're might. pretty, between the two of us, we're we pretty... Brioche lace cables, things like that. But we might not know. But um, post it in the group, and maybe somebody will know. But if you need help, and there's something that you can't figure out, or that you are nervous about trying or whatever, go ahead and message us. Message me on Instagram. I will help you. I have time. Yeah, well, I'm happy. I'm happy to help. I... Yeah. I'm kind of a... I a thug life knitter, like if somebody. That's what we call it. Yeah. I I I, I will get you where you need to be. We will help you I, find the best resources. way we can. We between the two of us, we know a lot of yeah sites and um, tutorials and everything like that. We're not. We will help you find YouTube videos. Yeah. We will help you find resources. We will help you if that's what you need if you saw something on and you didn't quite catch what we said message us if you want to know what kind of yarn you should use or whatever yarn substitutions needle substitutions post it in the rubber group or if you want to remain private just message us we are happy to Always help you happy don't help. message us on youtube mm -mm, that isn't gonna happen um no nope. we're not getting back to you at that point we'll read it but but so, uh, um but yeah, you can yeah. message us on, you can send me a message on Mal, send us a message on Mallory, send yeah. us a message on Instagram, post in the group, and we will do our best. Our best. And if we don't know the answer, we will We will help you help find somebody find who it. does. Okay, so. so don't be afraid to contact us about anything, even if you've never contacted us before. Because, I mean, I know what it's like to knit and not have, not know. I you know. And you not, don't necessarily have the answers or know somebody who does. So, so, I mean, I, I'm lucky to have you. Yeah, I have you. Know, you. And when I started knitting socks, I went to the Knitted Cupcake, and I was like, how, what do how I do? do? What do I do? Would, like, how, how does this work? Because mm -hmm. I, I don't know. And you, I don't we, know. Sometimes we, it helps to have somebody that you can be like, hey. Or if you just want advice. I mean, I'm pretty bad at color. Every single podcast, I've worn a black t-shirt and jeans because that's all I know how to match. But if you want to know, oh do you God, think this looks good nice together? Here. We always wear black t-shirts, usually. But, like, you have two yarns, and you're like, hey, do these look good together for my project? I'll tell you what I think. Go ahead. I'll be your knitting buddy. I don't care. Message me. Oh, did you not bring your other sweater? Or did you rip that out? I ripped out a lot of stuff. Oh, my, ho shawl, my hoodie shawl cardigan, shawl yeah. hoodie cardigan by Sosu. Yeah. I knitted that. I think I'm going to rip it out. It, it look, It's not cute. I want to see it. Okay, sorry. That was... The pattern's a little hard, and also, it's not cute. It's, I don't want to talk about it. I'm ashamed. Okay, <laughs> let's not talk about it. So obviously I'm not even the best for color. It's the colors that I chose are the problem. Um, but yeah, if you want to know what I think of your colors, I'll straight up tell you. <laughs> In a nice way. In a nice way. But I'll be honest. So if you need that because you don't have that, we will I'm, we will, we will help you out. Absolutely no. Other. Right? All the time. Like, All does this look good? the time. No, it yeah, doesn't. No, Rip it, it out. Good on you. Um... But yeah, if you don't have that, feel free to message us if you do have that and you just want to know what we think. Go ahead. Um, we will help you. Yes. We are not too busy. We are both stay-at-home moms. Don't have a lot going on. If you want me to come to you to look at your project, probably not. Stranger danger. And I got stuff to do. <laughs> like knit. I don't want to drive somewhere. So, but yeah, no message hey, us. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anytime. We're happy to help you out. Anytime. Go ahead. You do that. That's totally fine. Um, I just wanted to say that because I thought it was kind of important. No, I think it's good. So yeah, so no, but we have that in the we have that thread in the Ravelry group. It's sticky. It's just knitting questions. Go ahead. Absolutely. My contact information is in it too. Um, is mine in there? No, I don't volunteer you. Oh, I'll I'll go edit that. I don't want to volunteer you for stuff. What if you didn't want to do it? Well, I'm kind of committed. I'm you could have said I don't know anything. Don't message me. Or I'm busy. I have a busy life. I'm not going to mess with No, I'll go put all my stuff in there. I was just wondering if you did. Because if yeah. you didn't, then I need to go put no, it I in. No, I didn't. I did not put your contact Because I'm happy to. So, yeah. But we will help you out. Because we don't have anything else to do. And we know what it's like to need. And we know what it's like to need help. And to just and be I like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've seriously cried over so many knitting projects. Because it's hard. It can be really hard. So, message us. We will do our best. Yes. Um, I just want to throw that out there. We're going to Rhinebeck. I know that we're being obnoxious about it. And uh, Chantal, Chantal, from Knit Pearl Dog. Oh, no, that's she's not. She's amazing. She is yeah. amazing. What's her skein game? Mm. If you're watching this, 
I'm sorry. I know that I'm annoying you with my rhyme back excitement. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Oh my gosh. I never go anywhere, so. Oh, and by the way, also I wanted to say, if you left us comments about food, I have written them all down. Thank you so much for all of the food advice we got. And all yes. the advice in general we got. Because there were so many people who were like, hey, you need to eat this. Or, you know, try this, try this, try this. This is like, I might not buy any yarn because I'm going to spend all my money on food. Probably. Yeah. I'm going to take pictures of my food and then knit them, knit replicas to remember them. I, I Instagram my food. I did last year, like, at the fair. If I get something good, y'all are seeing it. Whether you Dude, when we go to Rhinebeck, other people are going to be Instagramming their yarn. I'm going to be Instagramming my meals. <laughs> like, look at this. Look what we got. And we are staying. We didn't even say this last time. I didn't know if I was supposed to say it, but other people did. Well, so we are, yeah, we didn't want to say it till everybody We else are staying with David Dog Dare, Lorelai from Handmade by Lorelai, Round Rabbit, Nancy from the Round Rabbit podcast, and Jake and his wife, Ray, from the Dog Star Mate cast. We're staying oh, with them. Guys, I'm so excited. I am cuddling in bed with David. He doesn't know that yet. He does now. What? That, that just was my plan. Okay. We can both snuggle him. We'll snuggle. David, can we snuggle you in bed? No, not kidding. We're sleeping on the floor. That's not the no. point. No, we're totally... We're, 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 we're on the floor. Car or something. I don't but... know. We'll figure it out. But we are staying with them. And we have plans to build a freaking epic living room fort. Yes. Yeah. Fort. If we don't make it to Rhinebeck, it's because we're like... Yeah. Out. Come to our Airbnb and knock on the door. We're there in a fort. Like, <laughs> that's our plan. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be the best freaking weekend ever. Ever. I don't even, I'm kind of worried that it's, that it's going to come and be over and done with. And then ne I'm never going to have a weekend as good as that. Well, there's always next year. By the way, I want to address something else while I'm talking and I have like a couple more minutes. I was rewatching our podcast that we uploaded like a week or two ago. That was the Rhinebeck one. Yeah. And I was looking at it and I was like, am I chewing gum? Did I chew gum on my podcast while I was talking? And then, no, I wasn't. It's just the way my mouth looks. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, if you look at my podcast, and you're like, that girl's so annoying because she chews gum during podcasts. And I got, like, a mouth deformity. She's just annoying me the way she talks. That's just the way, that's the way my face works. I'm sorry. I think I have a mouth problem. I can't whistle. Can't whistle? No. Mm. I've tried. And everybody's like, oh, you can't whistle. Well, obviously, nobody's taught you how. And then they try to teach me, and then I just end up going... <laughs> For like 15 minutes until they're like, oh, you really can't whistle. Big thanks. Yeah, I know. I can't. Like a whistling contest at Rhinebeck. That's the closest I get. No, I lose every time. I can't do it. I've tried hours of trying to whistle. I can't do it. I think I have a mouth problem. I don't know. Whoever can't whistle has to buy lunch. I need to start me for jaw <laughs> surgery. <sighs> so rude. So rude. Um, <laughs> I'll buy you lunch. Probably. Yeah, you can't whistle. I just said it. Whoever can't whistle is my lunch. <laughs> That's Maybe Jake can't whistle. Or Ray. You know that? Ray, can you whistle? Tell us. I don't know. She's going to lie now and say, yes, I can, because she doesn't want to buy lunch. I understand. I would, too. <laughs> you just anyway, it. that's not the point. The point is, is that um, we're going to Rhinebeck, and it's going to be the best. Yes. Best day so ever. So excited to see everybody. But every weekend after that's going to suck, because I'm going to be like, how can I be happy ever again? Because it's not Rhinebeck. But there's always next year. Next year. If you've been thinking about going to Rhinebeck and you can't go this year, go next year. Because we're probably going to go. Hopefully. Hopefully. My son's birthday is in October, so as long That's as they right. don't pick the weekend. Jesus. Sorry. I'm getting texts birthday. from my friend that they're popping up so, on my phone. She's order. telling me some great stuff. Across that bridge next so, year. Yeah, no, this it's going to be great. Sorry, that was awful. That was awful. You see, every single podcast that we do, I'm like, this is it. This is the one nobody watches, and they, we lose all of our friends. Sorry, nobody's watching now. So I don't know. We probably lost David. He's probably going to go run and hide, like, because we talked about <laughs> snuggling him. Oh, my God. I'm probably going to, though. Like, I'm just a fair warning. That's kind. I mean, nice. Who's not surprised? I just, I'm so excited. Like, I may just, like, do, like, a struggle snuggle. Like, David! See, this is why we don't have friends. If you're still watching this, <laughs> if you're still watching this, David's gonna get so many messages like, are you okay? Let me well, good for you. you. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with us. Hey, okay. So I don't think we have anything important to say after this. It's just like Rhinebeck excitement. It but we saved it for the end home. just for you, Chantal. Okay. Also, Chantal. one sad little bit of news. My favorite local yarn store closed. 
Oh, yeah, I did. I seriously almost cried. Like, my eyes were watering. Like, I don't have a Oh, and you got some yarn from them. Because you have a plan. Yarn. Yeah. Why I didn't do. you say this earlier? Because. I'm sitting here because rambling really about s- my apple cider donuts, and you've got stuff going I'm on. I'm really sad about it, guys. My favorite local yarn store. There's other yarn stores around, but I have to drive, like, 45 yeah. minutes now. There's one in Olympia. I have to drive 45 minutes now for it. Okay. Yarn store. The one in Olympia is really nice, but it's really she's still really small. There's yeah, not... she's still new, so her yarn. Um, I read that like there's like a two or three year waiting list for like, right, um, hedgehog and stuff. So yeah, it's so not easy to necessarily not easy get all the yarn. Get started. So but she's is... got Malabrigo. She's got some stuff. Yeah, she, I bought a I It's like not it. bad, but my favorite was Yorkshire Yarns, which is about thirty minutes away from me. And then my yeah, next favorite is, and then they she retired. She retired. She retired. Yeah. She was like, I'm done. And there was one in Puyallup that closed. Yeah, it's a problem. That one's good, too. But there's the one in Gig Harbor, which is 45 minutes. Okay, and also, there's one, like, a mile from my house. And that one's really nice, too. You got a nice one. I so, it. it's, yeah. it's fine. It's, it's really it's, small, but I kind of like that it's really small. And it's right on the water. It's really pretty. And they're super helpful there. It's great. Mint together in Silverdale. Okay. So, this is where oh, I, I just got, told guys. people where I live. Yeah, well, now they all know. <laughs> I live a mile in a mile radius, so just go knock on doors. I'll be there. Okay, so and everything was 50% off. 50% off, and they're normally twenty six thirty six. You pay like $13 a skein for these? Yeah. 200, 478 yards. Of bulky weight. Of bulky weight yarn. That's amazing. And I got three of them. And you're going to knit a? Campside pullover. That's not true. No, it's not. Camp. Fireside. 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 Oh, my God. I'm sorry. No. Oh. <laughs> Campside's DK. Yeah. Fireside. So, good luck with that. <laughs> Fireside pullover in this beautiful orange. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. It should, for you. I should only need two skeins, realistically. I would look I, like a walking pumpkin, but, but you're gonna look great because it's a good color for you. I don't, I love orange. It's like my favorite. So I should only need two, but I didn't wanna like fifty percent off, so I got three just in case. Because yeah, you never know. Because more yarn never hurt anybody. More yarn never hurt anybody unless you died in a yarn landslide. Oh, that'd be like the you, best way to go out. Why don't you think about the people who died in a yarn landslide? <laughs> You're so insensitive. Anyways, so amazing. Th- as soon as I finish my man eater, coming up a lot brighter. It's not that bright. It's pumpkin. It's, it's just like a pumpkin, pumpkin orange. It's That's not amazing. Orange. Are you gonna wear it to Rhinebeck if you finish? Yeah, finish. I can't do it. That's my third Rhinebeck sweater. Are you knitting Rhinebeck socks? If I gotta get you on. Nobody that. watched that because it was so bad right before they all switched. That's out. okay. Sorry. But um, I had to end it on a good note. Yarn. Yay! I don't know if I'm knitting Rhinebeck socks. It depends if there's a Rhinebeck colorway that somebody, somebody, no names. It's supposed to die up. It's supposed to die up. And they haven't done it yet. So, it may be socks if I can get my hand on some Rhinebeck yarn. If not, I'll just yeah. be sweaters. I got some clear Converse. Oh, you see, you're waiting until I end to say that? I too. know. I got clear Converse to wear to Rhinebeck, so I'm pretty excited. I might have thrown my Christmas socks. Let's see that. Because my, I might not finish my socks. So, it might be Christmas socks. I got all like eight pairs of knitted socks. So, well, good for you. Can I borrow some? Yeah. Okay, well, okay. It's, we're at 58 minutes. Thank you guys so much for sticking with Thank us you. if you did. If you pieced out a long time ago, I understand. Um, cool. So we will see you next time, probably in uh, two to two weeks, uh, seven months, whenever we get a chance. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you know, to hit the little, like, the notification thing so when we upload, you'll... Don't say that. Okay, don't do that then. I didn't even know that was really there that sent an email. I hit notification for the Dogstar Maycast, and it didn't even notify me. Okay, see, so, I, mean, I didn't even know. Maybe there's other people that didn't realize that if you hit the notification thing, it sends you an email. Because I didn't know that, and I was like, why do I get emails for some, but not all of them? Because I, did, I, didn't subscri- I don't know how YouTube works. I did not subscribe to podcasts for a really long time because I thought that I would get a ding on my phone every time somebody uploaded something. And see? I was like, I don't want that. But then I started subscribing, and that doesn't happen. And I was like, oh, look at that. But Neil told me that it does for him. Oh. He said that he gets, like, it dings when somebody uploads oh. a video. And I'm like, that's awful. Yeah, that doesn't think for me, and I didn't, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't, you know what, you guys do you, you do you. If you don't want notifications from us, which is totally fine. I don't blame you. I don't, don't get notifications you. from other podcasts, so, I mean, I'm not, it's totally, thank you for there sharing you. that with us. Okay, all right, I didn't know how it worked. We're done. Okay, bye, guys. We don't know how this works, bye.